Hi guys, Mark O'Sullivan from E3 Endo. Uh, thanks for watching. I just made this short video on obturation of the DC taper preparations. Um, as you've been using the DC taper files, excellent file, really does a nice job, but being quite conservative does require certain GP cones to obturate it effectively. And as you might already have been doing uh, using the SS White supplied GP cone, uh, it usually fits fairly well, um, but unfortunately SS White has ceased manufacture of the GP. So we've come up with a solution to allow you to continue using the files as you do, um, and just a modification of the obturation technique if you've been using these V taper or DC taper cones. So what is the problem? Well, it's to do with the fact that the DC taper instrument has a reducing taper in the upper segment of the instrument and in fact it goes down to a zero percent taper in the last few millimeters. As you can see from this slide comparing the shape of a 20V, 25V and 30V instrument against a fixed 4% GP cone there is a crossover point where the GP cone exceeds the size of the instrument and in this case around about 13 millimeters or D13 from the tip of the file. So what are our alternatives? Well, as you can see here in this slide, there's a number of different cones that are available that we can use to make this work. As a result of this, using a 4% cone to obturate a DC taper prep is not possible unless you pre-flare the orifice using an orifice shaper or similar instrument. And if you do this, you can continue to use a 4% cone and will likely not have a concern. If you choose instead to not use an orifice shaper or flare the preparation, you need to then use a non-standardized cone to enable that to fit the preparation. An example of this would be a medium fine cone trimmed with a tip snip device to allow you to fit that cone or alternate to that you can look at the True Natomy cone, which is a cone manufactured by Denseply uh, to fit their True Natomy file system. And we have found in use that this file fits the DC taper prep quite well as well. So now I'll run through the obturation just for example, so you can appreciate the differences between a trimmed medium fine cone, a True Natomy cone, or a 4% tapered cone as an option for obturation. So now we can have a go at fitting our cones. So 25, irrigated that through. So this cone here, the 20V cone that we would otherwise previously use, but unfortunately now becoming available. And again, we see that seated fitting. And that's good. So now we can have a look at a trimmed medium fine cone. So again, medium fine cone. What we're talking about when we're trimming a cone is using something like this, which is what we call a tip snip. So it has different size orifices that we can place a medium fine cone into and make it into that size. So in this case, taking a medium fine cone, place it into the 25 hole, and we can see how that little bit of that steps out the end of there and then we run this blade over the top of that and it trims off that excess so it leaves us with a medium fine cone which is now trimmed to a 25 apex so again we'll just measure this to our working length which is 18.5 and try this in and in this case we can have that seat our prep so that's one way to get a cone to fit now we don't have the 20v we can use a medium fine cone trimmed or we can use this true anatomy cone which as we saw before similar profile and again same thing we'll see to that cone there's no change to that prep but if we wanted to try and use either a 20 or a 25 this is a 25 dc tapered prep if we wanted to use a 20, say, 4% cone, we can see as we go to seed it, it stops a bit short, or about a mil short here. The reason we're short is here. 
we've got binding in the canal at this coronal leg level and that's because of that that shape where the 4% cone keeps getting bigger but the DC taper doesn't unless we have a problem in that way same thing with the 25 try and do that you can see it'll be short not seated here we're binding up here so to fix that we can make a small change to the way we go about our prep now you may already do this so it might not be any change but if you're the type of person that doesn't often f use an orifice shaper or some kind of flaring in the canal and you simply use DC taper without an orifice shaper then the shape of that canal may not allow a cone to seat, a 4% cone to seat so instead we may use an orifice shaper now the orifice shaper is obviously designed to change the shape of the orifice slightly usually to allow a better path of access um, now we don't want to go and take huge amounts of tooth structure from that area because we don't need to just needs to be a slight flaring of the canal and as you can see here again with plastic pretty hard to use but we'll just do a little bit of flaring so a little bit of change and by doing that small amount of change where we can clean the canal still the same method where we've previously had our 25v instrument done now in this case i've done the flaring after i've done the prep you wouldn't do but I only did that so I could show you the um, obturation options so now we go back with our 2004 cone and now we are going to see that seat and the reason we're seating is we're not binding here anymore we've just changed that slightly to allow us to seat that 4% cone and that'll allow that 4% cone to seat you can do the same this is 25 so that's a bit short and that's again because of the bind so for me I'd be using that 20 cone and I do use this like I do with the DC taper cones <coughs> previously just the cone size down to the prep apex that you've filled so in summary if you are using the DC taper instruments without a coronal flare you will need to use a non-standardized cone like a true anatomy cone or a trimmed medium fine cone to fit the preparation or if coronal flaring has been undertaken a 4% standard cone can be used if you have any questions on what we've covered today, please do not hesitate to reach out to either Karen, Pat or myself through the E3 Endo website. And thanks again for watching.